If you're watching this, then the chances are that you are getting strikes like these. Whether it be strikes that don't let your videos hit the For You page, or whether it be strikes that are stopping you getting paid from TikTok's Creator Rewards program. Well, lucky for you, in this video, I'm going to be going over how you can avoid getting these strikes so you can grow your own TikTok page and make money like this from TikTok's new Creator Reward program. Now, before we get straight into it, I just need to warn you that this video is going to be split up into three different parts. The first part is gonna be covering the reason you may actually be getting these strikes and how we can avoid getting them. In the second part, we're gonna be covering things you can do to make it less likely that you get these strikes. And the third part is basically gonna be our last resort if the first two parts don't solve our problem. Now, if you miss one single thing, reason, or strategy that I'm gonna cover in this video, it could be the very reason that you carry on getting these unoriginal content strikes. So make sure you stick around until the end and you take in every point that I go ahead and cover in this video to make sure that you don't continue to fall victim to this problem. So the first reason you could be getting unoriginal content strikes is because your content is too similar to content that is already on TikTok. This can relate to many different niches. So I'm gonna quickly give you guys some examples of how this would work in different niches. So let's say you're in the Reddit stories niche or the tech stories niche. You are obviously gonna have background footage in your videos or in fact, any niche that matter where you have background footage. If you are going ahead and taking your footage from YouTube or places like this, the problem with that footage may be not the fact that it's from YouTube, but the fact that tons of other TikTok pages are also using the same footage from YouTube. This could then cause TikTok to think that, okay, this content is unoriginal because there's loads of other pages that are already using it. Remember, the things that actually go ahead and give you these strikes are not people, it is just an AI sort of algorithm that is gonna give you these strikes. So try and think about the different things that can maybe trigger that. And this is an example of a thing that could trigger that. You know, there's tons of pages using the same background videos from YouTube, then this could trigger them to give you a strike on your video. So what are some ways we can get around this? So you could pay someone from Fiverr to maybe make some gameplay for you that is totally original. You can make some gameplay yourself to use in the background of your videos. Or you could try using multiple different clips from YouTube. So maybe you have one parkour clip from Minecraft for one section of a video and I'll continue to use the same game, but maybe then the next 20 seconds you use a different clip from YouTube. So you're just mixing and matching them and that way it should be more likely to be considered as original content. Or let's say you're in the clips niche, for example. This is obviously quite a big niche. Do you just want to make sure you're not basically outright copying other people's videos. There's little strategies and things that we can do to get around this that I'm gonna go into later on in the video. But you wanna make sure that you don't have your clips, like let's say you're using clips that are similar to someone else's video, don't have them in the exact same order. Maybe try and change up your videos, you know? So it's a totally original video. If you're copying a video that is already on TikTok, then this is obviously gonna make it likely that you go ahead and get a strike. Even though you are editing the video and you know you're making it in your own editing software, you're putting your own little touches on it. Once again, if the video is majority the same, then TikTok, the algorithm is gonna see this as a unoriginal video and give you a strike. The second reason your video could be getting flagged as unoriginal content is if there is, let's say, a watermark on your video. If this is the case and you've got a clip from somewhere and it's already got a watermark on it, and you really want to use that video, what I'd recommend doing is putting something to cover it before you go and upload it on TikTok. Whether that be a bit of text, whether that be you trying to blur it out, whether that be there being, I don't know, a picture or something over it, whatever it be, try and cover it before you go and upload it onto TikTok. And then the third reason that may be causing you to get unoriginal content strikes is using things like movie clips, TV shows, or even sporting events. I tend to find that whenever I use like a clip from a TV show, it could be a cartoon, whatever it may be, sports, a series, whatever it may be. It could be a clip that's even from YouTube, but originally that clip came from TV, then I'm gonna find myself getting a strike on that video. This is probably because they're so high production and they're getting so many eyeballs on them and they're quite well known that either there's a bunch of TikTok pages already posting similar stuff about that, or it be sports edits or movie edits, whatever it may be. There's probably a bunch already posting that, but also it could just be the fact that TikTok can tell if something is like a TV show or a movie or they have connections with these things and if they're quite big then it's going to be obvious for them to realise that that is not 100% your own production. So if I were you and you're thinking about using clips from TV, cartoons, whatever it may be, sports, I would just scrap them and try and find a different way to go about your niche. So now we know what to steer clear of, what can we actually go ahead and do to make it less likely that our videos are gonna get striked? So firstly, we can add things to the video. So for example, on one of my pages, at the end of the video, I have a pop-up of my logo, and then I have an AI voice basically giving you some motivation that I have generated using Eleven Labs. And this AI voice giving you that sort of motivation is just something that is totally original, and TikTok can't really argue with the fact that that is totally original. It's something that I have made, it's an AI voice that I have made, it is a picture that I own. So this just makes it more likely that your video is actually going to be original. But maybe you don't want to do that. There's still many different ways we can go about this. So you can go ahead and add things in the video. So maybe when someone's talking or if you're doing an AI based video and you're still getting strikes like Reddit stories, just have some pop-ups or pictures or AI generated pictures popping up. That way they're totally yours and not from Google, but even just Google pictures popping up and things like that on the video is gonna make it more likely to be original because once again, you're just adding more to the video that is from yourself. 
then it's gonna make it different to other people's on TikTok or even it's gonna make it different to the video that you took from YouTube or whatever it may be. Another method that I've seen used a lot, I've used it myself a few times and it is very beneficial, is to go ahead and mirror clips. So you can do this very easily in CapCut, but you can probably do this in everything. That is basically just where obviously, your, if your clip is one way, it's just gonna flip it. So everything will be opposite essentially. So it will look the same, but it's just the opposite, which then could make it harder for TikTok's algorithm to pick it up. You could also add some kind of text feature to the video, whether that be auto captions coming on throughout the video, whether it be just a little bit of a text title telling you about the video or something like that. There's just little things like this that are just gonna make it way more likely that your videos are actually gonna go ahead and be original. And the last idea I'm sort of gonna give you guys for this is filters. So you can use things like filters, you know, trying to add different filters, add a different vibe to your videos. Once again, if this is done right, this can actually be spun into a positive thing for your page. You know, it can help you to brand your page and things like that. Like there's tons of pages that have like a really dark theme and that is sort of their filter. Or there's pages that are like black and white almost, or they use grayscale and that is kind of their filter. So once again, there's different things that we can do to try and make it less likely that we are gonna go ahead and get flagged for unoriginal content. Basically, if you're getting clips from other places, these are the kind of rules that I would stick by to make sure that, you know, you don't get a strike or to try and make it less likely you get a strike. So as some of you guys know, I have a page in the sort of clips niche and on that page, I try my best to make sure that I sort of stick by these rules. So in every single video, I want to have at least three different clips. And I don't want any of these clips to be longer than 30 seconds. I tend to find if you have less than three clips or if you have these clips over 30 seconds, then it's more likely that you're going to get a strike. Now, with that being said, I know people in my niche that just have one clip and they're fine. They don't get strikes. So you don't have to do this, but this is a rule that I would try and use if you can. And I tend to have not as many issues when I do actually go ahead and stick by this rule. And finally, if nothing up to this point has sort of solved your problem or helped you out in any way, and you feel like there is just something wrong with your page and it's nothing to do with your edits or anything like that, or it's nothing that I've covered in this video, then we're gonna go on to our third point, which is gonna be our last resort. So what we're actually gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna open up a support ticket with TikTok. And I'm gonna show you how to do that right now from your phone. So first things first, you're gonna go onto your profile as normal on the page that you're having problems with. You're then gonna click the three lines in the top right hand corner. Then you wanna go ahead and press settings and privacy. And then you wanna go ahead and scroll to the bottom and located under support and about, there should be something called report a problem. Once you've found this, just go ahead and click on it. Next, you then want to go ahead and scroll to the bottom again and press submit a report. And then finally, you're gonna click on that text box and you're basically just gonna submit a report to TikTok saying something along the lines of, hey, I'm having problems with unoriginal content. I'm making this content totally originally myself and it applies by all the guidelines, something like this. And you're just gonna go ahead and submit that report to TikTok and hopefully from there, they can help you out and solve your problem if it is actually a problem with your account. Or maybe they can go ahead and actually take a look at your account and tell you what the problem is that can then be the specific case and the specific solution for your exact account. So these are all the tactics that I use to go ahead and try and avoid getting hit with these unoriginal content strikes. And I'm in sort of one of the worst niches that gets hit with this a lot. And it tends to work okay for me. So hopefully if it works for me, it can work for you guys as well. If you did find this video helpful in any way, it would be much appreciated if you could drop a like and subscribe as I post weekly videos, helping you grow and make money with social media. And finally, if you want to see how I made over $10,000 in less than five days with a TikTok reward program, then check out this video on screen here. Apart from that, I hope you guys did enjoy and I hope to see you guys in the next one.